mysterious respiratory illness with similarities to SARS the has helped race to stop the spread of coronavirus continues to grow as scientists Although three billion work people to in over 70 countries and territories have been asked to stay at home what happens when life puts adversity in our path in challenging times we've always found a way forward not just because we had to, but because that's what we humans do. We've pulled together, created better ways to connect, and kept our focus ahead. We've reawakened the power within us to help humanity heal, move in new directions, and make life for everyone, everywhere, better than it was before. It's wondrous what we can do when we do it as one. We powered through, and now we're here, powering on. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president and CEO of the Consumer Technology Association, Gary Shapiro. Welcome to day two of CES 2022. What an amazing first day we had, exceeding all expectations. And if you want to read more, read Politico from reporters that are here that walked the floor and saw what was going on. You know, health tech is a big part of CES. It isn't new to CES, but health innovation has certainly taken on a new urgency since we last gathered two years ago in Las Vegas. First and foremost, without incredible innovations in health tech, COVID vaccines, testing and treatments, we just wouldn't be sitting here together in this room. The pandemic also unleashed a wave of attention and creativity in the sector offering up new devices and platforms at lower costs, improve health equity, and save lives. These new tools are empowering consumers to take better control of their health and well-being, and by connecting medical providers more closely to patients and their families. In a world where consumers want on-demand everything, healthcare is no exception. And what greater purpose is there for technology than advancing human well-being and health. And that's why I'm thrilled to introduce Abbott, Chairman of the Board, and CEO Robert Ford for our first ever CES keynote from a healthcare company. Most recently, Robert led Abbott's push to expand rapid COVID testing and offer new tools for health monitoring, like the Freestyle Libre system. One of our CES 2022 Best of Innovations winners, I might add. Here to tell us more about the acceleration of health technology and Abbott's vision for improving lives, please join me in welcoming Abbott Chairman and CEO, Robert Ford. Have a great show, look forward to it. Thanks, Gary. It's truly a pleasure here to be and a privilege to be standing uh, on this stage with you and, and everybody else today. And I could not be more proud of the stories that we're about to share with all of you, because these are stories about this convergence, this convergence of health and technology to empower human lives. And they come from all around the world, and they're powered by data, cutting-edge science, technological innovation but they're rooted in one single concept, human-powered health. Human dignity. It pumps no blood, thinks no thoughts, moves no muscles. It's hard to measure on a graph. Breakthroughs in human dignity rarely make the news, yet we pursue it relentlessly because it's vital to every human being and profoundly linked to our health. We are all human beings, 
all of us in this room, all of us watching online. And we all deserve to walk through this life with our heads held high. But illness has the power to disrupt our dignity, to steal from our lives. We see a future where we unlock good health, giving us the power to move forward in control of our lives, to be the people we were born to be, to realize our individual potential. We are in the business of asking and answering seemingly impossible questions. What if I could find out my son or daughter had a concussion right after they were pulled from the game? What if I could know I wasn't infectious before I gathered with my family? What if I could know I was at a greater risk for an impending heart attack? These are some of the what ifs we've already solved, but there are more. What if we could end malnutrition? What if we could stop a pandemic before it starts? What if everyone had access to affordable care, even in the farthest reaches of the world? Our path is to seek out even the questions that have yet to be asked. Every one of us deserves to live a life unencumbered by disease, to cross a room unassisted, to know our heartbeats are stable and strong, to take hold of our lives with steady hands. Human dignity demands it. At this moment in time, technology is changing faster than ever before. People are living longer than ever before. And we are using technology to ensure that those longer lives are lived to the fullest. This is human-powered health, and it's all about unlocking the possibility of you. Human-powered health. I don't know about you, but that's definitely a future that I, that I feel inspired to be part of. And thanks to Lawrence Fishburne, the forever Morpheus here for helping set the context for what we're gonna share with you today. You know, in my native Brazil, we have a very special tradition to ring in the new year. Uh, we spend the evening close to the water, we dress in white, and we wish each other many things. We wish each other love, success, but above all, we wish health. Because we recognize that the new year will likely bring a lot of new challenges, but with health, we know that we can deal with them. And Abbott's been wishing good health to the world for more than 130 years and helping make it a reality. And I'm here today to share that wish with all of you and to show you the better future that we're helping make possible. In our lifetimes, we've witnessed incredible advancements in both health and technology. In fact, tech has always fueled new advances in healthcare, new medicines, critical vaccines, new ways to screen and diagnose, a rapid expansion of our understanding of disease, the use of data and AI to better predict illness and better target treatment. Consider just the progress we've made. It's just truly astonishing to realize how far we've come in such a short period of time. But what inspires me the most is how far we can still go by linking health with new consumer-focused technologies to deliver on this promise of human-powered health. And this is exactly why Abbott wanted to be here at CES to share our vision. Health tech is at an inflection point, and COVID-19 has powerfully under underscored the importance of health and the growing value of the technologies that protect and advance it. We're creating a future that will bring you and your loved ones care that's more personal and more precise, the kind of future that gives you more convenience and control and that extends access to care for more people than ever, than ever before and to take human capabilities to entirely new levels, a future where people can proactively manage their health, detect disease earlier, and even prevent it from happening. This convergence of health and technology has the power to digitize, decentralize and democratize healthcare, to create a shared language between you and your doctor and put more control of your health in your hands. It's a future that holds incredible promise and opportunity. And with the right tools, we can give everyone their best chance to live a fuller, healthier life. You know, for those that are learning about Abbott for the first time, We've been part of every stage of the advancement of human health over the past 130 years. 
We were among the pioneers that created modern healthcare. The science of medicine, vitamins and aesthetics, IV solutions, scientifically based nutrition, cardiovascular devices, glucose monitoring for diabetes, and yes, modern diagnostics, including the first ever test for HIV. And it was this track record that made me want to join this company 25 years ago. And it's what makes me confident that we can deliver on our vision for the future. And that vision, by the way, includes Abbott helping one in every three people on this planet by the year 2030. And to do that, we're going to continue to propel science and technology into the future. At-home tests for COVID-19, rapid tests for concussions, personalized medical nutrition based on your unique microbiome, implantable devices, bio-wearable sensors. But what we want to share with you today are not just products. They're stories. Stories of hope, triumph, and achievement in the face of incredible odds. Stories that illustrate Abbott's vision for a better, healthier future. Stories of human-powered health unlocking the possibility of you.